some simple craft ideas that you can do at home to bring to life some of your favourite book characters. Here's some examples, see if you can guess all the characters. Twitwoo, twitwoo, have you seen Aunt Alberta? Twitwoo, twitwoo. I feel like I'm upside down. Yeah, what's going on? Here, make me a bird pie. So first off, I'm going to show you how to make this little owl. This owl is supposed to be Wagner, and he's the owl from uh, Awful Auntie by David Walliams, and he lives on Aunt Alberta's arm. So an important feature about this owl is that you'll be able to tie it onto your arm and pretend to be just like Aunt Alberta. So here's how you make your own. So these are the materials that you're going to need to make your own Wagner the owl. So the essential items are a toilet roll, some string, you could use wool instead if you haven't got any, a sharp pencil, glue stick, scissors and some card. What would also be helpful to have is a ruler or something to use to draw straight lines, bits of felt, a mark pen and always some googly eyes. So this is how you make your Wagner owl. So first off, you're going to take your coloured card, whichever colour you want your owl to be. And we're going to cover the loo roll with this coloured card. So we're kind of making a jacket for your owl. Now, if you don't have coloured card, it's fine. You can just colour straight onto the toilet roll with some felt tips or colouring crayons. Okay, so you're going to measure the loo roll onto the piece of card so you know how much to cut. We'll do it at the other end, so on each end of the card. Okay, so you've got your length there. Then you can take your ruler and draw along and match those two points to where your loo roll goes to. If you don't have a ruler, it doesn't matter. You can always use something else that has a straight edge, maybe another piece of card. Uh, maybe a lid on a container. There's lots of things with straight edges that you can use if you don't have a ruler. Now what you need to do is you need to cut along that line. So this is going to go onto the toilet roll. So you're going to cover the whole toilet roll with this. <clears throat> so wrap it round. What I'd say is you wrap it all the way around so that it overlaps and then you want to cut off the extra because it can make it a bit tricky if you've got extra so cut off the extra so then you just need to stick that onto the toilet roll so you get your glue stick and then put the glue stick all over the coloured card and then you're just going to wrap it around so this toilet roll will be the body of your owl. Okay, there you go. Now you might just need to hold that in place just a little bit. Oh, mine's not actually quite tight enough, so I'm going to redo it a bit tighter. So, as you can see with my owl, it's got a piece of string on so that you can then tie it and attach it onto your arm like Wagner. So, we need to create this hole now to put the string through so we can eventually tie it onto ourselves. Now this bit is a bit fiddly and you might need an adult to help you. You're going to take your sharp pencil and you're going to push through and make a little hole at the bottom of your toilet roll. Now I said little but you don't want it to be too little because you need to get the string through. That looks like a good size. So you do one that side, then you turn it around and you do one on the other side. With your nice sharp pencil push through again you might need an adult to help you watch those fingers there 
you go make it quite nice and big so your string can go through so our next job is to put through the string that we're going to use to attach the outer arm um, so you cut your string you want it quite nice and long because uh, you need room to tie it and then you're going to thread that through the holes through one again this is also quite fiddly and so you might need an adult to help you and two and then just leave that dangling for now okay so our next job is to make our wings of our owl so i used some felt but you can use lots of different materials really so don't worry if you don't have felt you could also use card or maybe you have some nice fabric that you'd like to use around home there's lots of different things you can use but today i'm going to use felt so choose which color you'd like maybe i'll go for purple today and then take your marker pen or you could use a pencil but i'm using a marker pen because it's just clearer to see on the felt and then just draw out your owl wings so i've done mine this shape can you see so it's bigger on top and smaller on the bottom a bit like an egg shape squashed egg but you might want your wings to be a slightly different shape what sort of shape wings would you like your owl to have have a think Maybe you just want it to have triangle wings. Whatever you decide, draw it out. And then, time to take your scissors and cut your wings. So there's my wings. So we'll stick those on. So, uh, you're going to put your wings, so you've got your hole there, you're going to put your wings to the side of the hole. So you put your wings on the side of the hole. There's one wing. Just use the glue stick to stick them on. If you don't have a glue stick, you can always use PVA as well. So there you go, there's my wings. I just glued them at the top, not all the way down as well, because then that means they, they can flap out a bit. Okay, next, how is about we have a go at making the feet? So, again, I used felt, but you can use card or any other material that you like to make the feet. I'm going to give mine yellow feet today. So I'll use this yellow felt. So then what I did was I drew two little stumpy feet using my marker pen. Again, you can use marker pen or pencil and then curved it off around the top looks a bit like an eye mask that you wear when you go to sleep that's the sort of shape I've gone for and then you're going to cut that out now we're going to glue the feet on the feet go just underneath the hole and I put mine I glued mine on the inside like that and put up there but you can put them on the top if you like so I'm going to use the glue stick, put a bit of glue on and glue them in there. There we go. So then when it stands down, it'll have little feet. Perfect. So now I'm going to make the feathers on the tummy. So let's use red. So again, it's felt, but if you don't have felt, you could always just draw them on or you could use some colored card. It's up to you. So I'm going to start with, yeah, these long feathers at the top. Take my marker pen. So how I did these was, so you've got your straight line, quite a long straight line. And then it's, the shape is, it's like two bubble Bs, the, the letter B together. So you've got one B and then another B. So you've got two letter Bs together, like bubble shaped letter B's. Then you're going to cut that out. Okay, eventually that's going to go on here, but I'll just measure it. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that size. So I'm going to do another one like this. So I could even just trace it. Take my pen and draw around that shape again. Uh, 
And again, we're gonna cut that out. Okay, so I have two. So now I'm gonna make one a bit smaller. Uh, this one has three lumps on, so it's one letter B plus half a B. You could say it looks like three little hills, this one. So again, what we do is we draw a line. So I'll say it's three little hills. One hill, two hill, three hill. So we've got three hills there. And again, you're gonna cut that out. Okay, so I've done another one of those on here. So I'll do the same and trace that shape again. Okay, then it's time to cut that out. Okay, so as you can see here, I've done one more, which has two little hills on, on this owl. So I'll do one of those. So take my pen again, draw the line and one little hill, two little hills. Make that a bit of a better shape. And then I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. So now it's time to stick on my feathers. So I'll start with the small one first with the two little hills. I'll just put a little bit of glue on and that's going to go on the tummy just above the hole. And then we go to the three hills. Put the first one on. The next one. Glue that on with the glue stick or PVA, if you have PVA. And now we're going to the longer ones with the four hills, or as I said, the two bubble bees, letter Bs. So yes, it might be sometimes you need to leave the dry, uh, glue to dry a little bit, but you should be able to work around it. If it starts to come off, just squash it back down, just like then my wings started to come off. Oh, just like that bit there starting to come off, just give it a little squash down and hold it and press it with your finger to help it stick down. Now, let's have a look at this one. I'm going to do the beak now. So I think I'm going to do a purple beak. Again, I'm using felt, but you could draw it on or use some coloured card if you don't have any felt. Take mark pen or pencil and draw your beak shape. So can you see mine? It's a bit like a triangle with curved edges. So you might just want to do a triangle. I'm going to do just a triangle for this one, I think. Yeah, just do a triangle. Triangle beak. So I drew that one out. Then I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. Okay. So time to stick on my beak. Take your glue stick or PVA glue. and stick it down on the face of your owl. Now what we're going to do, in fact, what we're going to do now is we're going to make the owl shape at the top, make it into an owl shape. Realistically, I think you should have maybe done this at the start, but I forgot, sorry, but we'll just do it now. So that's fine, you can do it now. So you're going to squeeze your owl together a little bit, squeeze it together. And then you're going to push it down there push it down there so you push two tops on top of each other so that you get this curved shape at the top and then you're just gonna tweak the two ears at the top and then that'll hold it in shape and then sorry you need to keep uh, the bits that are coming off stick them down again can you see now you have your owl ear shape Thought something looked wrong, that was it. Okay, so now it is time to put on our googly eyes. Now I have googly eyes, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just use again, paper, colored card or draw them on as well. The thing about owls is they tend to have really big eyes. So that's what you want to think about when you're sticking your eyes on now. Doesn't want to behave that, that wing does it. Hopefully your owl will be more behaved, better behaved than my owl. 
He's meant to be a bit cheeky though, isn't he? So then you're going to glue on one, one eye. And then you're going to glue on the other eye. There we go. This looks like a very cheeky owl to me. Not very well behaved at all. But that's what you'd expect from Awful Auntie's Owl Wagner. When you're ready, you have this string. So you, again, will probably need an adult to help you. And you can wrap this string around your wrist and tie it underneath. And then you will have your owl on your arm and you can pretend to be an awful auntie as well. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna show you how to make this beard. Now, did you guess the character? It's meant to be Mr. Twit's beard from the Twit by Roll Bow. And the fun thing about this beard is that you get to fill it with loads of old bits of food and dried food, just like the real Mr. Twit. Here's how you make your own. So these are the materials you're gonna to need to make your own Mr. Twit beard. You're gonna need some thin card, like from a cereal box, some scissors. I use some brown paper, but if you have other paper you want to use, obviously that's fine some string or wool, a glue stick, a pencil, and then you've got some dried food. So to make your Mr. Twit's beard, take your piece of card and paper, and then you're gonna draw uh, a large circle shape with a squash circle up at the top of that. So this is gonna be the base of the beard. Can you see this is mine here, which I stuck on to. So you've got your large circle with the squash circle at the top. In fact, I might even make this one a bit smaller. There we go. It doesn't have to be that big. Then you're going to cut that out. Okay, we'll get rid of that. So then you're left with this. Now we need to cut out this squash circle. So how we do that is you're going to fold it over and you're gonna cut into it. You may need an adult to help you. So then you've got a little cut there and you can put your scissors into it and then cut around that squashed circle. Okay, get rid of those bits of rubbish. So eventually this is where your mouth's gonna go and that your nose will go there. So you might want to try it on and make sure it fits you okay. If it doesn't, then you can give it a trim and uh, make it fit you a bit better. Now we need to put on these bits of string, which are gonna eventually help uh, allow you to tie it onto the back of your head so you can wear it. So we're gonna put these bits of string on now. How you do that is, take your sharp pencil. You're probably gonna need an adult to help you with this. And with your sharp pencil, pierce a hole on one side of the card. It's a very thick card actually, it's got, but we can do it, there we go. So you've got one hole there, then we're gonna do another hole at the other side. Again, you're probably gonna need an adult to help you with this, so you don't hurt your fingers. Whoops, that was quite a big hole. There we go. Now you're gonna to need to take a piece of string and you're gonna need two pieces. I'd say you probably want each string to be about 40 centimeters long. So there's one. We'll do another one, we'll measure it with that one. So there we have two pieces of string. So you're gonna tie one through this hole and tie it onto the piece of card with a double knot. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side with a double knot. Now when you come to wearing your beard, that's gonna, that'll go on your face and then this will go around the back of your head and you're gonna tie that in a bow so you, you can wear it. Okay, now it's time to make the actual beard. So I use some brown paper. If you don't have brown paper, you could either use some brown card or you might even wanna give Mr. Twitter rainbow beard and use some colored card, it's up to you. 
So this is the brown paper. Now the thing about Mr. Twit's beard is it's scruffy. So it's really good fun because you can just rip the bits of paper and it looks a bit scruffy, but that's how his beard is, isn't it? So it's good, we can be a bit messy and we don't have to be too precious about it. So you're just gonna rip some bits. You want some quite long bits to start with. Okay, I've got some long bits there to start with. So it's now time to stick all these long bits onto our beard. So you just take a piece, oops, and you're gonna use your glue stick and just glue it onto the beard. I think it's good to start here, which is the bottom of the mouth. Glue lots on. So the thing about this beard is layering it up. So you'll have this first bit, but you can see there's still gaps underneath. So now we're gonna glue bits underneath there. So here we go. Fill up all the gaps so you don't see any more of the cardboard anymore. Okay, so I've put another layer on, but you can still see there's some bits of white peeping through of the card. So I'm going to cover those bits as well. Again, just using the Pritt stick. Whilst you do this, I would try not put anything on the top just yet, leave that for a bit. We're just doing the bottom part of the beard. And so now you might have some smaller bits left over. They're good to put on the top of all these longer bits, just to make it look a bit thicker. It's good to think about adding different layers on. If you, the more you build it up and the more layers you put on of this brown paper, the bushier and more scruffy, that's the word, Mr. Twit's beard will look. So now it's time to do the moustache bit, which is the top bit here. So we're going to need to rip more card or brown paper, whatever it is that you're using for your beard. Okay. So the thing about the moustache is that it's ripped, but I also did just cut a bit of definition into the top here and give it a bit of a curve, just so it looks a bit like a moustache a bit more. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. You might just want to stick it straight on like that. I'll cut it though, just to add a little bit of definition. It's already quite well done that piece. Then I'll stick that on. That's a very big bit of a moustache. So I'll stick that to the middle of one side of the moustache. Now I need one on this side, about that one. And I'll cut that down as well, just to make it look a bit ne neater, a bit more like a moustache, because we don't necessarily want it to look neat because it's Mr. Twit, but we just want it to look like a moustache. There we go, stick that on. Try and cover all the card. Put a little bit on top just to make it look scruffier. Use that little bit to make it look nice and scruffy. I'll just add a bit of definition to the top there. A bit more glue. Okay. Now that is a very wild Mr. Twit's beard. But the very important thing about Mr. Twit's beard is that he keeps all his food in there. So that's why I've got some dried bits of food that you can now add to your beard. So you can stick on some actual dry food, but you might also want to draw some things onto pieces of paper and stick them on, such as in the book, I think he eats worms. So you might want to draw some worms and stick them on. And think about what other horrible, gross things you can think of that he might eat. So you just use your glue stick, decide where you want your dried food to go, and you stick it on. I'll put a bit of pasta there. Now, I did use some mung beans around his nose. I know this is a bit gross, but I thought they looked like bogies. And if anyone's gonna have bogies, it's Mr. Twit. So I gave him some green mung beans around his nose. 
can probably save them, eat them later. It's probably something Mr. Twit would do. Give him mung bean bogey nose. So when you finish putting your food on, you might just need to leave it to dry for a little bit, but then you can take your string and wrap it around your head and tie it at the back in a bow. Again, you're probably gonna need an adult to help you. And then you can be the grumpiest, meanest Mr. Twit that you can be. Finally, I also made these Element the Elephant ears. Now these are really simple to make, so I'll just tell you quickly how I made them. You take a piece of card and you wrap it around your head and staple it into place so you have a headband around here. Then you take two pieces of cereal box cardboard, draw your elephant ears onto them, cut them out and then paint them whatever colour you like. And then, yeah, you just stick them onto the side. Then you can also just stick on an elephant trunk using a piece of card. Uh, also, the fun thing about this is you can just make them normal elephant ears and they could be another fictional character that you like. Or they could also be really big human ears and you could turn them into BFG ears and go around shouting snozcumbers at people. So these are just a few creations of things that you can create to bring a book character to life. But have a think about your own favourite books and characters and how maybe you'd like to bring them to life. So from me, Wagner, Mr Twit and Alma, thank you for watching and happy reading. Bye!